Mrs. Doubtfire. I, I think I had a friend who owned this, like when I was a kid. I feel like maybe I saw bits and pieces. Uh, but you know, I, was, I was sitting down trying to think about what this movie was about. And outside of father dresses as a housekeeper, I couldn't come up with anything. I can't picture the kids. I can't picture the wife. I can only picture Robin Williams in an outfit. And frankly, I have more memories of Mrs. Featherbottom than Mrs. Doubtfire. And so I thought today's the perfect day to change that. Welcome to the channel. My name is Chris. And I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you do, please feel free to hit the like button. It makes children happy. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can always check me out on Patreon where I have polls, Patreon exclusive reactions, full length reactions, and early access to most of the videos that I post on my channel. Of course, the best way to support the channel is to watch these reactions. And that's what we're doing here right now together. Let's experience Mrs. Doubtfire. For mostly the first time, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Wow, that is... Very operatic opening. Oh, Sally Field. Oh, Sally Field's in this one. Cool. I will not do this. I cannot. Oh, what a foul way for a bird to die. I don't want to get big cancer. He's going off script. The fact that Pudgy the Parrot has a cigarette shoved into his mouth is morally irresponsible. Fair. This is a cartoon. Oh. For children. Do you think it's morally right to promote smoking to the youth of America? <laughs> They're biased. That's a mistrial. Daniel, listen to me. <laughs> If you want a paycheck, you stick to the script. And then I've got to do what I've got to do. That's very funny. Whoa. I'm not taking any crap from you, pal. Looks to me he's the one taking crap. The words of Porky Pig. <laughs> Piss off, Lou. <laughs> I don't think Porky Pig ever once said that. If he did, I want to see the receipts. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's the girl. She was little Matilda. <laughs> Congratulations on your 12th birthday. No parties. Mom said you couldn't have one because of your report card. Mom's not going to be home for another four hours, is she? <laughs> oh, mobile petting zoo? The oh, little bunny doesn't need to be shooed like that. I mean, I guess if your priority is protecting your flowers, then yes, shoo the bunny. Who's she calling? The wife. Obviously, she's calling the wife. Hillard, please. Are you aware that it's illegal to possess animals of a barnyard nature in a residential area? <laughs> what if you're married to one? Oh no, the cake. To be fair, it did look like grass. That's on you a little bit. And of course, he's just dancing with the kids. You're home a little early. I, I was going to have everything cleaned up before you got home. Yeah, right. Don't you dare make me out to be the monster here, Daniel. Don't you dare. Yeah. You have all the fun and I get whatever's left over. Oh, you chose the career, Miss I have no choices here, Daniel. Why do you always make me out to be the heavy? Oh, I don't make you out to be anything. You do it yourself. Do you side with Robin Williams or Sally Field? Listen, we've got problems, but who doesn't? We can work them out. What are you talking about? It's over. We've been trying to work oh. them out for 14 years. That's a pretty long time. We love each other. She doesn't. Don't we? divorce so sad we can't we're finished he's having a rough day i mean they all are they're all having a rough day <laughs> it's not easy for anyone hey listen you know you can always stay with us just as long as you want it's gonna blow over oh uh, it didn't blow over look at it not blowing over present time mr hillard has no place to live and no employment yeah that's gonna count against it is him. the court's ruling to award sole custody to mrs hillard i mean every saturday that's one day a week that's not enough i have to be with my children surely miranda wouldn't just relegate you to one day a week she knows how much you care this ruling is only temporary oh good i will assign a court liaison to oversee your case and there will be a continuance of these proceedings in 90 days Three months in which to get a job, yeah. keep it, and create a suitable home. You can do it. I should have never had a birthday, Dad. This never would have happened. Yes, it would. You did nothing wrong. You got that? Take care of her. He really does love her. And it makes me sad that a father who loves his children this much has to spend so much time away.
But he does have stuff to do, though. Let's let's be real. Hopefully, he uses his time wisely. Excuse me. Yeah. You Tony? That's me. Hi, I'm Daniel Hillard, the actor. Will I be introducing these movies on air? Nope. Not exactly. What do I do? Well, you take all these cans, you box them, and you ship them. Then more of them will come in. Not your ideal job, but a job is a job, and that's the most important thing right now. Miranda. <laughs> Stu. Mr. Dunmire's come by to look over your sketches. Uh-oh. Um, let me show you to the conference room. I don't want to see her move on that fast. I was flattered that you thought of me after all these years and everything. Everything. Ancient history. Can we talk maybe later in the week? Sure. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Can't you just tell Mom you're sorry? Wish I could. Me too. You know, grown-up problems, they're a little more complicated, Nanny. That's Mom. No, what? it's not. Can't be. She's an hour early. Come on, Nanny. We gotta come. Yeah. Okay. Come on, you're on my time now. You're my kids, too. Oh, this isn't how you want to end it. Are my children ready yet? No, our children are not ready yet because you are an hour early and you were an hour late dropping them off. Daniel, I'm really sorry, but I don't have time for this. I'm sorry. Look. I know it's inconvenient, but you don't get to steal two hours from his very limited time. I'm placing an ad for a housekeeper. Why don't you let me take care of the kids? I'll pick them up after school. They can be with me for a couple exactly. of hours, and then I'll drop them off at your house after work. Yeah. Oh, Mom, that'd be great. Please, please. I'll think about it. That's a no. Anyone else used to that what phrase being no? Kid two. Oh, my gosh. Any other choice phrases you'd like to teach our five-year-old, Daniel? <laughs> no, that one was pretty good. <laughs> Hope you didn't eat much of that. Come on, don't forget anything. I don't want to come back. All right. Okay. Sneaky. Kind of messed up, bro. Actually, let's be honest. That's kind of messed up. I, I just want to know one thing. Are your kids well behaved? Or do they need like a few light slams every now and then? <laughs> um, I'll have to get back to you. I have two girls and a boy. <laughs> Oh, a boy. I don't work with the males. I thought there'd only be one I person that would call job. to apply for the apply for the job. It's so much you speaking? better that all these other people are calling to apply. There would be a little light cooking required. Oh, I don't mind that, dear. I'd love some heavy cooking. <laughs> but I do have one rule. They'll only eat good, nutritious food with me. Could you tell me your name? My name? Oh, did you not think this through? <laughs> don't fire. <laughs> That's I beg your pardon? wonderful. Don't fire, dear. So I'm wondering how fully formed is this plan of his? Obviously, he didn't come up with the name. Does he know how he's going to dress? Could you make me a woman? Ah, okay. That makes sense. Honey, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Demille. <laughs> Sunset Boulevard. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. I mean... Luck. Wow, this is actually far more elaborate than I would have expected. But I, it would have to be to be able to fool your family, assuming the kids don't just know about it right away. Hello, Mrs. Hillard, I presume? Wow, it is yes, really good. I'm Miranda Hillard. I mean, I still think they'd probably recognize them, but like, I'm willing to go with it. Do you know that book, Stuart Little? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Aww. Oh, mine too. She has inside information. You're big for a lady. You could play for the 49ers. <laughs> Look, why can't Dad do it? If he would get a job and a decent apartment. Uh, I'm sure you normally would encourage the children to step out of the room before you verbally bash their father. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you're absolutely right. I'm not a therapist. I, I, I just see what I see. I keep separating, thinking this is actually a separate person, but as a separate person who's not their father, 100% right. Here's my resume. Oh, Aww. thank you. This movie has a very charming quality about it very difficult man to live with mm. but the children are crazy about him don't have to be a psychic to sense that i feel like i've known you for years you have <laughs> maybe we knew each other in another life <laughs> <laughs> to be fair the idea that her ex-husband is dressing up like this is kind of pretty far-fetched right so maybe it's far-fetched enough that she wouldn't suspect <laughs> evening ma'am <laughs> cold night isn't it Yes, it is. Just drive the bus, sir. Hope you have something nice and warm to go home to. What we've learned, Mrs. Doubtfire's a catch. Excuse me. Oh, no. Mrs. Selner, 
have we met? No, I'm his sister. Whoa, good cover. Danny boy, where are you? Oh, he here he is, dear. I found it. Danny, there's a Mrs. Selner here to see you. Oh, she here? Yes, dear, Ooh. she is. He is a quality voice actor. He'll be right there. He's just changing, dear. The boldness to do this with the door open. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Selner, how are you? Always a joy. If you wanted some cheese, why don't you just say so? <laughs> <laughs> the way he uses everything. Dialogue so sharp. She makes a fabulous cup of English tea. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, I would adore a good cup of English tea. Oh, wouldn't we all? <laughs> I'll go get her. No, don't play this game. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, this was your fault. You stepped into it, my friend. <gasps> no! Oh! I take sugar in my tea. Oh, your tea! Oh, gosh, this is a disaster zone. Oh. oh! Can I give you a hand? Oh, no, dear, I don't need a hand. What is he about to rub on his face? Frosting. Frosting. Terrible. Hello! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to frighten you, dear. I must look like a yeti in this get-up. Good, dear. Oh, there you go. You've got your cream and your sugar now. <laughs> Great joke. <laughs> oh, I can't believe she put it on her face. Well, you know, someone with an accent, they're instantly more trustworthy. It's homework time, okay? Yeah, but... After Dick Van Dyke. I know you're used to Lucy Goosey, but I run a much tighter ship. I think he's like Between the going out of his way to not be himself. Those who do not follow the schedule will be punished. In a weird way, maybe he's like trying to prove to Miranda, like, see, I can be this guy. Although, admittedly, it's a shame he waited until it was way too late to try to change. But sometimes, you know, we need that wake-up call, right? Sometimes in life, we need a wake-up call before we do the hard things. Are we ready for homework, or shall we continue manual labor? Homework. No, anything but this. <laughs> All right, then. Upstairs. I miss Dad. Me too. Oh. Me most. Yeah, you're not just going to magically be a good cook, my friend. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God, it's clotted. Oh, oh my God. gosh. Danny. 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 Ah! Ah! My first day as a woman, I'm getting hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> Would she really be saying wow to that, a five-year-old girl? Would she be excited about this meal? I just want to apologize for being such a pain today. Oh, dear, it's all right. No, Go. I, I'm really sorry. I'm still kind of messed up. We all are, sweetie. I just mean I understand the pain you're all going through. I want her to know first. I also wanted to thank you for making my mom so happy. Uh -huh. oh. Wow, this is surprisingly emotionally satisfying. Obviously, if this was really a stranger, it wouldn't be that compelling. But because it's Daniel, it really hits, man. Well, my lady, it's a pleasure to see you again. Oh, a joy, as always. <laughs> He's less interested i like that mediterranean looking women <laughs> natural healthy just the way god made you he's a kind man <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't prepared for her dancing with the vacuum <laughs> what a knife to the heart like immediately Back off. there you go <laughs> Lover boy's here. Gonna rip off that thing up there. To... <laughs> so sad when that happens. Oh. Your mother got asked to design this big oh. float. Wow, she's bringing him to meet the kids already? Miranda's been raving about you. Odd, she's never mentioned you. No. No. <laughs> you own that big, expensive car out there. Oh, dear. Well, they say a man who has to buy a big car like that's trying to compensate for... <laughs> oh, she... He is savage. He just wants to go out and have a drink, and I think that's pretty harmless, don't you? Oh, absolutely not, dear. Because they always have other intentions. 
This is business, mostly. I guess they're not really dating yet, but... How long after Mr. Doubtfire passed away, Winston, did, Winston, you... did you feel any desire? Never again. <laughs> Never again? Once the father of your children is out of the picture, the only solution is total and lifelong celibacy. Not gonna work, buddy. Will you excuse me, dear? Call of nature. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh god <laughs> you have to tell him you have to tell him i'm not who you think i am yeah no watch your mouth young man at least they know at least they know at least oh they know god. are they gonna be mad or are they gonna hug it's really you in there uh, yeah Hi. yay oh. hug hey. you can't tell mom okay maybe not tell natalie Dinosaurs were herbivorous, but this Tyrannosaurus Rex is... Oh, I'm so bored. Immediately bored. And dinosaurs are interesting and should not be boring. Oh. Like <laughs> Which one's the dinosaur? <laughs> one in the middle, I think. No, you're wrong. They're all extinct. What kind of idiot kept this guy on the Ooh, air? Oh, you're talking to him. Years? Me, Jonathan Lundy. I'm Daniel Hillard, former employee. <laughs> Criticize all you want. Yes. The show's terrible. Step towards career advancement, I hope. Imagine what it was like being married to Daniel. Oh. Well, tell me, dear, what was so horrible about this man you lived with for 14 years? Yeah, tell Mrs. Doubtfire all the things you should have told Daniel long before now. I hardly ever got to see the kids, and on the nights I would try to get home early to be with him, something would go wrong. The house would be wrecked, and I'd have to clean it up. He never knew, but so many nights I just cried myself to sleep. There's the problem. He never knew. The truth is, I didn't like who I was when I was with him. I would turn into this horrible person. Right. Did you ever say anything to him, dear? Daniel never liked to talk about anything serious. Yeah. I mean, they both have some work to do, right? <sighs> I'll just sit here and watch you move in on my family. Hello. There's so much quality dialogue in this movie. I can't. My cheeks hurt. Stop it. Uh-oh. Drunk Mrs. Doubtfire sounds dangerous. You won't even date a woman who's got kids. People change, Ron. Do they? He's got an awful lot of baggage, though. Three kids. Three terrific kids. Kids aren't I'm crazy about them. They need some kind of stable father figure in their life right now. Thanks, Todd. Huh. Well, what about their real father? Yeah. What can I say, Ron? The guy's a loser. You don't know him. him. <laughs> I guess it's nice to know that Stu is genuine in his interest in, in, in uh, Miranda. I'd always prefer it if Stu wasn't, if he was just a total jerk. He's not. He's not a total jerk. Dinosaurus line! Da, 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 da. This is your real audition. King! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's time for the raptor rap. I'll rap tour, be okay. back, but I'm coming as oil. But <laughs> coming as oil? I didn't know anybody was watching. I was just playing. I don't think I, I was watching. That's funny stuff. Next Friday, Bridges Restaurant, 7 o'clock sharp. I'll be there. You know what? The place looks great. The food's terrific. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Not. Not to be left out. Whatever they're feeling, she feels it, and she feels it harder. Give me a second chance, okay? Let me take the kids after school. I can't get rid of Mrs. Doubtfire. She's terrific. Come on, Rand. Why not? She's the best thing that ever happened to us. It's kind of like a lose-lose situation. Because if she finds out you're Mrs. Doubtfire, she'll be furious. Stu has invited you and the children to join us. When does this enchanted evening take place? Friday night, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Don't try to do both. Don't Fred Flintstone this thing. Don't do it. Friday at 7. He's going to do it. I can't. Why good, not? good, good. Please good, good. don't. No. You're part of the family now. I can't have a birthday without you. Oh. It would mean so much to me and the children. I promise. No. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mr. Lundy is completely booked. Take my advice. Don't cancel. Right. That's, yes, take her advice. Let Mrs. Doubtfire disappoint Miranda. Who cares? 
that's not your real life. Good evening, Mr. Lundy. I'm meeting someone. Has he arrived yet? No, I'm sorry. He hasn't arrived yet. But we can seat you. Oh, he's pissed already. Mrs. Doubtfire. What? Would you like to join us? Oh, I, I have to go take my medicine now. Well, we have water at the table. I can't take it orally, dear. Oh. <laughs> Swinging for the fences with that excuse. Oh, boy. Uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. What? Oh. You're coming into the men's room. No. Oh, so it is. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go well. I mean, admittedly, it's the funniest decision he could make. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How about a drink? I, oh, sure. Uh, I'll have what he's having. All righty. Double uh, shivers on the rocks. Double shivers on Ooh, the rocks. Bring him two doubles so he can catch up. <laughs> what can you do to help the ratings on the kids' show? Bottom line, don't patronize kids, you know? The little people, you gotta personalize it. Hmm? That's what I'm interested Bingo. in. Bingo. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what's happened to Mrs. Dalfire. Excuse Ooh. me for a moment. Oh. But... <sighs> That'll cover up the smell. I mean, it, it will cover up the smell. Ooh. I'll have the jambalaya. And make mine not spicy. I'm allergic to pepper. Not spicy, certainly, not sir. Spicy. Allergic to pepper. Oh. Oh no no no. Drinking more is not mm. the solution. <laughs> well. One moment. Carpe dentum. <laughs> Seize the teeth. Well, let me assist you. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh, just shake them off like a dog. Sorry. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I'll be right back. <laughs> Are you wearing ladies' perfume? Oh, of course. Because yes, I am. Put it everywhere. Are you wearing lipstick? Rubbed off. <laughs> oh, good cover, I guess. Couldn't keep her hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> you dog. <laughs> a less drunk potential employer might see this as a unprofessional behavior, but does she have a lady friend for me? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, ask her. I'll go ask her. Go ahead. Oh. I need my artist for table 39. Relax, I'll be out in a minute. He's gonna add pepper. <laughs> Can I help you, man? Oh, sorry, I'm late. But after all those scotches, I had to piss like a racehorse. Oh, horse. God, no. Mm. Cover blown, cover blown. Why in God's name are you dressed like a woman? An example of a character I can do on the show. All right, tell me, why would Mrs. Doubtfire be a good host? I'm a hip old granny. He's choking, help us! Oh, God! Oh, oh God! He's choking here! Call oh, no. I killed the bastard. Oh, oh, no. Help is on the way! Help! Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire! This is too much! He's choking here! Stop fighting it! <laughs> you alright there? Oh no! Was lost. Cover really blown. <gasps> Happy birthday. <laughs> Best line. The whole time you would. The whole time! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Miranda. Please. Don't talk to me! Sally is nailing this performance. Do you have any closing remarks? Nothing further, Your Honor. Your Honor, in the past two months, I have secured a residence. I'm also holding down a job as a shipping clerk. So I, I believe I met your requirements. In regards to my behavior, I can only plead insanity. I'm addicted to my children, sir. I love them with all my heart. They mean everything to me, and they need me as much as I need them. Good speech. You've been able to fool a lot of people into believing that you're a 60-year-old woman. And your little speech seemed to be very heartfelt and genuine. But I believe it to be a terrific performance. Your lifestyle over the past months has been very unorthodox. Yeah, that's true. And I refuse to further subject... I mean, from a legal standpoint, good intentions don't make deception okay. But it spoke to mom, and that's all that matters. You will have supervised visitation rights every Saturday. Supervised? Sir? Yes. A court liaison will accompany you when you spend time with the children. We will re-examine this case one year from now. Thank you. Please don't be so depressed. Everything's going to be all right. I miss her spaghetti. I miss her jokes. 
I miss her stories. Things were a lot nicer when she was around. She isn't real. <laughs> we have to stop referring to her as if she were a real person. Hello, Probably. my dears. The show started. There are fewer chips in the world than there used to. Doesn't it make you mad that humans are playing your parts in movies? Oh, cheater! Planet of the Apes. Right. <laughs> Number one in our time slot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Paul's from Detroit. Could I talk to you? Yeah. Yeah. We've been watching every day. I don't want to hurt our children. You want me to pretend like everything's all right? Put on a happy face, smile? You took my children away from me. You knew the truth. You didn't say a word. You let that judge pass that despicable sentence. I was angry. And the only thing I know to be true in my heart is that the children were happier when Mrs. Doubtfire was a part of their lives. She brought out the best in them. He did. She brought out the best in you. He did, yes. Okay, you. that's good. Josie's capable. They miss her terribly. I miss you. Come on. Daniel, the kids need you. I need them. From Katie from Youngstown, Ohio. It's the new babysitter. It better be dad. Yay. Daddy. <laughs> what about the courts? All that legal stuff. Ask your mom. I took care of it. Yay. Would you like to come in? I'll wait outside. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Two months ago, my mom and dad decided to separate. Now they live in different houses. Did I lose my family? No. You know, some parents, when they're angry, they get along much better when they don't live together. Just because they don't love each other anymore doesn't mean that they don't love you. There's love, dear. Those are the ties that bind. Yeah. And you'll have a family in your heart forever. Well said. Obviously, I was kind of rooting for uh, for them to work out their, their problems and, and get back together. But I think had that, I mean, maybe that could still happen. We don't, you know, the future's not written or maybe it is. Is there a sequel? I don't know. But I thought that message at the end was very powerful. I have to imagine very meaningful for children who do come from, from divorced homes. I, I, I don't. So if, if that's your experience, please let me know. What do you th think of this movie and this, this ending scene there? I do think had they gotten back together at the end of this movie that would have certainly undercut that message that was so well said um this movie was different than i thought it would be it was hilarious yes but also very heartfelt very sincere there wasn't really a villain or a bad guy right it would have been easy to paint Stu in that role but they didn't do that uh it was just flawed people being flawed and trying to to do what's right. I think everyone was was trying to do the right thing in this movie. And that is pretty cool. Everyone made bad choices in this movie. <laughs> but also some good ones as well. I liked it. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this film. And yeah, give this video a like. Subscribe for more content just like this. Check out this movie right here if you'd like. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to my patrons. Bye.